athletes at the top of their game can build their muscles to truly staggering sizes. But while many of them work hard to attain monstrous muscle mass, there are others who want all gain and no pain. From genetic advantages and inspiring stories to substance abuse and surgery, these Herculean humans will stop at nothing to get godlike gains. With that said, let's grab a few tickets to the gun show and gawk at some seriously incredible athletes with utterly unbelievable muscles. The South Korean Thanos Thanos may not have fared so well in the Marvel Universe, but he seems to have been resurrected on Earth in the form of Kim Min Soo. At 6 foot 1, weighing an incredible 222 pounds, this South Korean bodybuilder has earned himself the nickname of Thanos, and with good reason. He doesn't just have the incredible bulky arms and chest of the purple-skinned supervillain, he's also developed that uncannily strong chin. But that's not the only ridiculously chiseled feature about him. Kim's standout appearance is all thanks to the contrast of his impossibly slim waist against those bulging upper body muscles. The figure he's achieved is so striking that it won him first prize in the Monster Zim 2020 Pro Physique category. So technically, that makes him an award-winning monster. Looks like the Avengers are really gonna have their work cut out for him this time around. But as strong as Kim may be, even he would have a hard time against the champions from this video's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. This dark fantasy RPG has console quality gameplay and graphics, which is free to play on mobile and on PC. With 460 unique champions to collect, 12 awesome campaign locations, and factions from dwarves to the undead, there are countless ways to play and endless strategies to discover. Personally, I like playing as the High Elves, because they have champions like Arbiter and Yannicka, who have insanely high attack stats which are as badass as they look. And this month, Raid just released their biggest ever update, containing the mother of all main events, the Doom Tower. It's 120 floors filled with secret challenges and 12 tough bosses, which I just can't wait to take on. They're also adding 14 brand new champions, along with a bunch of events and tournaments just in time for the holiday season. If you click the special links in the description, new players will receive a Void Champion Bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an Ancient Shard for free. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here. With that said, let's get back to looking at some superhuman athletes. The Beast It takes some serious muscle to become the world's strongest man, something former title holder Eddie the Beast Hall has by the arm load and ab load. With his shredded weight somewhere in the region of 360 pounds, this supremely stacked weightlifter looks wider than both of his training partners combined. But as impressive as he looks, all that beef isn't just for show. In 2016, Hall harnessed the power of his mammoth muscles to set the record for the world's heaviest deadlift of 1,102 pounds. That'd be like hoisting up a grand piano with your bare hands. Although it was clearly the high note of his strongman career, Hall did have some superhuman help on his side. His massive muscles are, in part, down to a rare gene mutation commonly known as the MTSN mutation, or Hercules gene. This abnormality prevents the normal production of myostatin, a protein that puts a cap on how much muscle fiber someone can build. Without this cap, Hall can build those monstrous muscles beyond the normal limit, giving him a huge advantage in the gym. Anyone order a side of bottomless muscles? If looking at these titans of the sporting world has left you feeling weak, you can regain your sense of strength by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Go ahead, show me just how hard you can flex. Are you back up to full power? Great, because when you see the next guy, you might start feeling weak at the knees. The Thyclist Godzilla may be the king of all monsters, but when it comes to sporting monsters, it's Quadzilla, or to use his human name, Robert Furstemann. 
The utterly immense thighs of this former Olympian track cyclist measure in at an unreal 29 inches, which is more than the waist sizes of many of his competitors. And it's not just their size that's intimidating. He's been able to reach cycling speeds of almost 50 miles per hour, squat at over 460 pounds, and hit those pedals so powerfully he once snapped his bike chain like a twig. But how did he manage to build up such amazingly monstrous quads in the first place? Well, Firstamon swears by a punishing routine involving a strenuous gym session and at least one stint on the track every single day. If you thought leg day was bad, spare a thought for this guy. For him, leg day is every day. The Mini Beast the world's most successful powerlifters are typically humongous humans with massive muscles to boot. But the utterly amazing Jeremy Smith is here to prove that size isn't everything. He was born with a form of dwarfism, which has left him standing just 4 foot 5 inches. But being close to a foot and a half shorter than his competitors doesn't stop this incredible athlete from lifting like a true machine. In fact, being shorter is a point in his favor. While he can't build monstrous amounts of muscle mass, he doesn't have to lift his weights as far from the ground. This means he's been able to push around some seriously impressive numbers, like squatting 745 pounds and bench pressing more than 445 pounds. That's over three times his own body weight. Looks like some of the strongest muscles come in deceptively small packages. The Stick Thin Cyclist At first glance, this photo of Slovenian cyclist Janez Brajkovic's leg looks more like someone has put a sneaker on a baguette. Despite the deep cut lines and bizarrely baked appearance, believe me when I tell you, that ain't no French bread product. This is actually the result of a bike ride that burned almost 1700 calories. That's almost an adult's daily energy intake. Though it looks extreme, this kind of muscular visibility is quite normal for endurance cyclists. During a race, their legs use up most of the subcutaneous fat beneath their skin, and they can be left so dehydrated that even the bone is visible, like this. Startlingly, these two images are, believe it or not, of the same athlete. That's right, these photos of Brajkovic's legs were taken a few months apart. But the reason they look so different is even more disturbing. You see, in late 2019, Brakovic revealed that he had been battling through a severe eating disorder following a 10-month doping ban from cycling. As a result, his return to the sport left his legs horrendously emaciated. Despite the weakened state of his body, Brakovic got back on the bicycle seat and began the uphill battle of recovery. Thankfully, his determination has paid off, and he's back on the Slovenian cycling team, looking healthier and happier than ever. The Furious Fakers There are plenty of athletes that are driven by a hunger for huge gains, but perhaps no more so than Peter Serwinski. Better known by his social media name, Furious Pete, this monstrous-looking man fuels his giant muscles through competitive eating. Although he holds a Guinness record for inhaling a 72-ounce steak in under 7 minutes, very little of that protein has found its way to his legs. Instead of biting the bullet and pushing through leg day, Pete has decided that the only way to bulk out his scrawny stalks was through calf implants. This is a surgical procedure that involves implanting silicone-based molds into the calf, giving them a bigger and more defined appearance. However, Pete's procedure didn't go as planned. In a 2013 YouTube vlog, he claimed the surgery had given him an abnormal-looking three-headed calf muscle. While keyboard warriors were quick to troll his desperate decision, he later revealed it was all a hoax. Now, Pete may have had the last laugh with his prank, but there are some cursed-looking muscle implants in the sporting world that are no joke, like those of Susan and George Koprash. This Canadian bodybuilding couple have, startlingly, both gotten ab implants to try and stand out on the main stage. But they're so solid and plastic in appearance that it looks like someone's hot glued Lego blocks onto their stomachs. I don't know which looks worse, those abysmal abs or Pete's comical calves. Have you ever seen any botched surgeries like this? Let me know down in the comments below. 
The Hulk. We don't often think of our hands as amazing muscles, but for Denis the Hulk Siplenkov, it's hard to see them as anything else. This huge Ukrainian strongman and champion arm wrestler has hands that are so large he'd make the real Hulk jealous. His wrists alone measure in at a shocking 9.4 inches in circumference, with his fist able to curl up to an incredible 13.4 inches. That's half the size of a standard bowling ball. But it's not just the size of his strike you should worry about, because his fingers alone can do much more damage. With those devastating digits, Dennis's grip strength is strong enough for him to crack walnuts using just the tips of his fingers. He crushes them so easily, it's like he's squashing grapes. And with that horrifying thought, I just felt my own <laughs> grapes retreat up inside my body. The Menace Looking at Dennis the Menace James, you might wonder, who is this gigantic, muscle-clad freak of nature? But I assure you, nature has nothing to do with it. At his peak, this German-born professional bodybuilder had a massive competing weight of 260 pounds. However, his ballooning muscles were so out of proportion to his 5'8 frame that they looked photoshopped. But then again, even obviously photoshopped fakes like this one look more proportionate than James. Although that could be down to his hilariously tiny tank tops, or more realistically, anabolic steroids. These are performance-enhancing drugs that mimic the effect of the hormone testosterone, which can be abused by athletes to increase their muscle mass. While studies have proven that they can have fatal side effects like strokes and heart attacks, James has publicly stated that he doesn't believe they're that dangerous. And with a past like his, it's easy to see why. Back in 2005, James pleaded guilty for conspiring to bring anabolic steroids from Thailand into the country. He disappeared from the professional bodybuilding scene soon after. Although, I hear his new career as a balloon animal is going well. The Goliath. At 6 foot 3 with a peak weight of 360 pounds, the last word anyone would use to describe Craig Goliath is small, except that is himself. Despite the sheer size of his top heavy torso and gargantuan gams, Goliath doesn't think he's big enough, and he doesn't think he ever will be. That's because this amateur bodybuilder suffers from a condition called muscle dysmorphia, more commonly known as bigorexia. It started after he began gaining weight from his matchstick-thin high school days. Even though he achieved the mammoth feat of putting on over 100 pounds of pure muscle naturally, he still felt small. The struggle to feel comfortable in his own skin led him to take anabolic steroids. This boosted his weight up to a staggering 360 pounds, most of which seems to have gone to his unbelievable biceps. But even now that he's considered one of the biggest bodybuilders alive, he still isn't satisfied. The photos he takes are carefully crafted to make his body look as big as possible, even if it means impersonating a giant croissant in the process. Sadly, it looks like no amount of French pastry will satisfy Goliath Goliath's hunger for huge gains. Big Lenny Now, this next athlete isn't so much human as he is subhuman. Lenny Montori, known more commonly as Big Lenny, is a member of the notorious Delray Misfits gym crew. Back in 2013, this bizarre group of gym nuts, bodybuilders, and fitness fanatics banded together to create a pretty successful YouTube channel. But the real star of the show would turn out to be Lenny's bulging bubble gut. Even though it looks like it's ready to burst, the prominent belly of this 6'3", once 450-pound bodybuilder isn't filled with air. Instead, Big Lenny suffers from a big case of palimbalism. This is a rare condition affecting athletes who use human growth hormone to improve their muscle size. While it gives them bigger, bulkier looking muscles, it also causes internal organs like the intestines and stomach to grow out of control. And in Big Lenny's case, his inflated intestines have gotten so big, they've distended his gut well beyond his chest. But despite looking like he's swallowed a bowling ball, Lenny still competes in local bodybuilding competitions. Though he doesn't win any prizes for his bulging physique, he certainly deserves one for being a core competitor. 
the belly buddy. When it comes to crazy cores, a bloated stomach isn't the only bulge that athletes can suffer from, and proving that point is the hilariously odd baby bump in the middle of bodybuilder Hani Salib's abdomen. While it may look like the biggest Audi belly button you've ever seen, there's a more morbid explanation to this bizarre bulge. The lack of definition and roundness about his lower torso indicates that, like Big Lenny, Salib too has been using human growth hormone to build some superhuman muscles. However, the stress of his exercise on his ever-growing gut has meant his intestines have literally burst out through the weak muscles around his belly button. The fancy medical name for this grim injury is an umbilical hernia, and while it's a relatively simple fix, Salib has apparently opted to keep his new belly buddy. Maybe he's hoping it'll draw attention away from his equally peculiar pecs. Mr. Ten Pack Although Muhammad Ali shares his name with a boxing legend, there's something else that makes this bodybuilder stand out. Like most professional bodybuilders, he sports an incredibly shredded lower torso. But he doesn't just have a six-pack or even an eight-pack. It almost defies the muscle-bound laws of nature, but this beast of a bodybuilder has one incredibly chiseled ten-pack. While he's trained insane to get this amazing set of abs, Ali also had a little helping hand from his superhuman genetics. You see, people are born with rectus abdominal muscles that have a set number of bands of connective tissue, and it's from this tissue that a set of two bulging abs are built. The bands lay horizontally across the abdomen like they're stacked on top of one another. But sadly, no amount of training will build additional bands. So the ones you're born with determine the number of abs you can build. While most people only have three abs, giving them a sweet six-pack, Ali has an unbelievable five bands, allowing him to carve out that tremendous ten-pack. But don't feel too self-conscious if you're in the six-pack club. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger, arguably the founding father of modern bodybuilding, could only build a four-pack. That might make you feel better, but I certainly wouldn't go flaunting it in front of the Terminator himself. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> Mr. Universe in the world of bodybuilding, the focus isn't just on who has the most muscles. The sport also takes into consideration aspects like the shape, symmetry, and proportion of a competitor's muscly mass. So, a small waist can be the difference between a gold medal or a loser's bus ride home. With that said, no one graced first place quite like the incredibly tapered Brian Buchanan. At his competitive peak, his chest measured in at a colossal 57 inches, but his waist was less than half of that at a ridiculously slim 28 inches. For some perspective, that's about the same size as a standard soccer ball. Proportions like this are notoriously hard to achieve, so much so that some athletes even resort to Photoshop to get them. But far from being fake, Brian's tremendously trained waist helped him crunch his way to victory. In 1995, his godlike proportions gave him the boost he needed to cinch the coveted bodybuilding title of Mr. Universe. I guess you could say all his training was really worth the waste. The All Natural With his shirt on, British bodybuilder Alan Davis looks like any other well-built Brit. But when he removes that skin-tight white top and drops his briefs, the extent of his dedication to working out becomes startlingly clear. Davis is an all-natural bodybuilder who has won the world championship title in his lightweight category. But to get those impressively shredded glutes and back, Davis adhered to an utterly punishing regime. For five grueling months, he dieted on nothing more than turkey, egg whites, vegetables, and lots of water. And for dessert, he indulged in two and a half hours of cardio every day. As if that doesn't sound like torture enough, he then had to fit in his weight training to build those gargantuan muscles on top. But if that's what it took for Davis to get this physique all natural, then what do you think the owner of this beastly back and buns was doing? Was he squatting entire freight trains or maybe benching the Statue of Liberty? Let me know down in the comments. The Most Shredded Man Alive 
There are ripped athletes, there are shredded athletes, and then there's Helmut Strabel. At 215 pounds with just 3% body fat, the definition of this Austrian bodybuilder's muscles is astonishingly visible. With such a small amount of fat and highly defined bulk, Strabel is often dubbed the most shredded man alive, and with good reason, because you can see the ridges and sinews of each muscle so clearly that it looks like he's been lifted from the pages of an anatomy textbook. But the muscles of this lean machine obviously didn't just develop overnight. Strabel has been training for almost four decades to achieve this outrageously peeled physique. He first stepped into a gym at just 16 years old, and like a fine wine, his physique has gotten better with age. Though he isn't without his critics. Many people have accused Strabel of taking steroids with diuretic purposes, allowing him to retain the water content in his body. While this would dry him out like a raisin, giving him that impossibly lean look, Strabel has fervently denied any kind of steroid use. So, giving this Herculean hunk the benefit of the doubt, what do you think he'd look like if he did take steroids? Personally, I reckon he'd look like a giant, sentient chunk of beef jerky. The One Peck Wonder As we've already seen, many superhuman athletes have an impossible amount of muscles. But on the other end of the spectrum are those who are born missing vital muscles. And one of those athletes is the amazing Gunnar Anderson. From a quick glance at his Instagram, this personal trainer looks like any other jacked jock. But his phenomenal physique seems to be missing something. More specifically, his right major pectoral muscle. Amazingly, Anderson was born without this section of his chest. While Anderson's doctor assured him that the defect posed no threat to his health, he also joked that Anderson would probably never become a bodybuilder. Oh boy, just how wrong he was going to be. The diagnosis originally knocked Anderson's confidence, causing him to write off most chest exercises like bench presses. However, a little guidance from a trainer showed him that he could compensate for his missing muscle using his triceps and shoulders. Combined with his fierce determination, Anderson went from benching 135 pounds to a staggeringly strong 345 pounds, which is about the same weight as the colossal slice of humble pie his old doctor must be eating right now. The One-Legged Wonder for many athletes, building muscle is a very difficult process. It takes a strict diet, intense workouts, and dedication by the bucket load. But just imagine trying to do all that while suffering with a debilitating health condition. Though it sounds like an unmanageable undertaking, Sham Singh Shara proved that with enough willpower, nothing is impossible. This Indian bodybuilder suffered from polio as a child, a virus that can leave its sufferers with horrendous deformities. In Shara's case, it affected the muscles of his right leg, leaving them withered, weak, and unable to develop. But despite his defigurement, Shara refused to give up on his dream of becoming a bodybuilder. He began training at just 15 years old, and through the endless pain and sweat, he's cultivated a staggering set of muscles that put most able-bodied athletes to shame, so much so that he's won over 20 bodybuilding competitions in the disabled category. It's hardly surprising. After all, he really had a leg up on the competition. The Man With No Excuses Take a moment to imagine what someone who weighs 90 pounds would look like. I bet the first image that comes to mind is a scrawny teenager, not someone with enough athletic prowess to wrestle a full-grown man to the ground, right? Well, say hello to Zion Shaver. This incredible athlete was born with caudal regression syndrome, a condition that prevented the development of his lower spine. Without their legs, most people would have given up on any dreams of becoming a professional athlete. But it would take more than that to hold Shaver back. From the age of two, he found a natural passion for wrestling. Training for this sport has helped him build up some incredible upper body muscles, to the point where he's able to effortlessly lift his own body weight. With dexterity and strength on his side, he's fast become one of the most formidable wrestlers in his state's 106-pound division. At 90 pounds, he should be at a disadvantage. 
but Shaver's grips of steel can lock his opponents in place like a vice. And he can do all that without a set of working legs. Suddenly, I can't think of a single decent reason why I can't get my lazy butt to the gym. <sighs> which of these athletes had muscles that made your jaw hit the floor? And which did you find most inspirational? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.